Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about recording uh, and playing audio using device mic. Uh, this is probably one of uh, the most asked feature in Flutterflow. And if you don't know already, there is actually a marketplace which is still in beta version and people can actually upload their UI elements or code, custom code, uh, or anything that uh, is related to Flutterflow, and people can actually get the item and then uh, use it in their own app, on own uh, project. And today we are going to talk about uh, recording uh, and play audio using the device mic, like I said, uh, and we are actually going to use this uh, item specifically uh, because it is already in the marketplace and I want to uh, call it uh, from zero. Uh, and this item, it's actually in the marketplace. You can just write recorder and it will uh, show up. Uh, and this is when you go to uh, app.fillful.io uh, on the left side, when you click on uh, marketplace, uh, and then just like I said, the right recorder and it, it, it will show up. Uh, and this is made by uh, Equilib Foundation. I hope I pronounced it correctly. And uh, the thing that I added, uh, because you can see over here that it says ability to upload and download audio to Firebase will be added in the future. Uh, but that was like nine months ago. Uh, and I decided to actually do that uh, by myself. Just add the uh, uh, just add the uh, ability to upload the file uh, to Firebase uh, when it's just recorded. And this is what we're going to do today. So let me show you how this actually works. Okay, great. Uh, so let me show you how this works. First of all, it's very important to test this inside web deployment and not using test mode on run mode because if you're using test mode or run mode it will actually not work because of the permissions uh, you cannot actually access permissions in my case i need to uh, access the mic permissions and you cannot do that with the test mode and uh, run mode i actually did a great let me just show you i actually did a great post about uh, those limitations, the limitations that are currently in the test mode and run mode. And if you go to potentials, uh, potential issues, and then on the right side, it says limitation of test mode and run modes. And those are the li current limitations that I know already. Uh, and some users uh, have uh, contributed to this post as well. Uh, but as you can see, the second one says you cannot run any functionality that require you to request permissions like microphone, camera, and so on. So yeah, it's very important for us to know that this needs to be in web deployment. So when you deploy your app in web, you can of course open it, and then I have my, <clears throat> sorry, and then I have my page, which is this one. And then I have tap to record, and I uh, also have uh, the actual uh, URL. This is actually uh, a local URL, uh, of the file, of the audio file, uh, but I just display it. Uh, you don't need it, of course, uh, in the working app. I just display it for uh, uh, debugging purposes. And how this works, uh, you should be able to only press the, press the button, record something, uh, and then uh, then play it, and it should be uploaded, uploaded directly to uh, Firestore. Right now it's 13th of May, uh, the, the, day, uh, the, the date of the recording of this video, uh, and it's 11 uh, a.m. Uh, my local time. So let me uh, try to record that. Hello, my name is Demeter. Uh, this is just a demo. I'm demonstrating how to use the uh, recording using Flutterflow and upload it to Firebase. Thank you. Great, and now the recording is done and you can play it back. And the playback will actually loop uh, the, the playing. So it will play and then when it stops, it will uh, continue playing until you stop it uh, manually. So let me, we can listen to that.
Hello, my name is Dimitar. Uh, this is just a demo. I'm demonstrating how to use the uh, recording using Flutterflow and upload it to Firebase. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dimitar. Yeah, so I don't know if you can actually hear uh, the sound of my computer. Uh, you can actually hear that. I'm not sure. I haven't recorded that, uh, but uh, let's hope that you did. Uh, so this is actually recorded. Uh, you uh, heard it. And this is, like I said, the uh, URL uh, to the audio. It's a blob file or a blob, not file, but I, I don't know what is exactly you know, the definition of the blob uh, thing. And then if I go to my Firebase project, now I'm going to my Firebase project. As I said, today is the 13th of uh, my, sorry, and the clock is 11 a.m. So this is the recording that we just did. And the, the file extension of the uh, audio file is Opus, but you can actually change that to any of the file extensions that the recording package is supporting. If I go back to, if I go, sorry, not back, but if I go to the recording package that we are, that we are currently using and we go down, uh, those are all the uh, encoders or those are all the uh, file types that you can use. And I use the Opus one because the only reason that I use it is because it's supported actually in Android iOS, Windows, Mac, and Linux. So I think this is the only one, and probably this one as well, or this one. Uh, but uh, yeah, so those three are actually the only ones uh, that are supported in all platforms. And I want it to be something that is supported in all platforms. And that's why I choose uh, this one. But of course, you can choose another one. So this is how it works. It's simple as that. Just press a button, record and then it'll upload. Uh, and let me show you how I actually did it. So before showing you how I built this, let me tell you about the three main things that you need to have in your projects in order for this code to work. So the first thing, like I said at the beginning of the video, is to test this code only in, deploy, uh, in the web deployment or, of course, in your uh, mobile device. So it could be Android or iOS, of course. Uh, and uh, this code should, in theory, work in Windows app uh, application uh, and Mac, iOS, uh, and so on and so forth. But today, we're going to talk about the mobile device, Android or iOS, and the web deployment. So. Like I said at the beginning of the video, this will not work in a test mode or run mode because of the permissions, restrictions in the test mode and run mode. So this is first very important thing, so don't forget about this. And the second one is that make sure that you set up your Firebase with identification and that you test this with a logged in user. So make sure that you test this with a logged in user because we need to have the credentials of the user in order to upload this uh, to the user uh, directory. You can actually upload this not to the user directory, but in order to do that, you need to change the Firebase rules. Uh, so if you go to settings, Firebase, those are the Firebase rules over here. Uh, and you need to change them if, like I said, if you don't want to upload your files inside the user's directory and then the UID of the user. So, yeah, like I said, make sure if you want to st stick with the default Firebase rules, then you have to make sure that you are with the logged in user. Great. And then the third very important one is to actually create a fake upload to Firebase button. Uh, and I think I didn't spell button uh, correctly, right? Uh, and uh, so the idea with that is that uh, if you want to upload your, um, if you want to upload your uh, recording and if you want the code to work properly, you need to actually have the button and the button is just a fake one 
uh, is just a dummy page. You can have like a dummy page or demo page or whatever you can call it or a fake upload. So in my case, I have a, I have a fake upload page, which is not connected to, uh, connected to anything. And when this button is pressed, uh, you, I am uploading a file to Firebase. And the reason for that is that the code are not uh, implemented or imported in your Fillerflow project if you don't include this uh, action uh, in your project somewhere in your project. Uh, and that will actually, because we are using uh, the recorder uh, and we are uploading to Firebase, we are uh, importing the source code of Flutterflow, and that's why we need this, or else we'll, this source code will be not there and it will be not imported. So those are the three main things uh, that you need to have in order for this code to work. Okay, great. And then we can move on to uh, the part where I can actually show you how you can do that. So the first thing is that uh, in my uh, in my application, I have uh, a page uh, which only have the sound recording play. Uh, and like I said, this uh, I took mainly the code from the marketplace item. Uh, and uh, I just change uh, and add actually uh, the Firebase uploading uh, when the recording is done. Great. And I have the width and the height 100 and 150. And this is not showing actually. And the reason for that, it's not showing because I'm using exclude from compilation and because I'm using uh, file, uh, Featherflow source code. So make sure. Uh, that you can exclude for compilation. And then the two texts that I have, those are only for debugging purposes. The first one is coming from the app state, the file path of the actual uh, of the actual file when it's being recorded. And the second one is the user ID uh, if, so to make sure that I have a logged in user, because like I said, this is important to upload the file in the users and then user ID. And then in my case, I upload it in records, recordings, sorry. Okay, great. And now let's see the actual code. So the actual code, like I said, is coming from the item. And uh, the first thing that you need to make sure is that you have to update the dependency uh, uh, the version. So the item in the uh, marketplace right now, if you try it, uh, it will actually not work. And the reason for that is that the dependencies are not updated. So the one that I, the one dependence that I use, uh, I tested it, is this one recording 444 and then audio players 401. Of course, uh, when you watch this, probably the versions will be higher than this. So just try with the latest version. Uh, it's my uh, recommendation uh, and then the code here uh, it's I, I added this part to the code which is the source code for getting the notification user in order to save to the uh, uh, to the users and then the user ID so I need the user ID that's why I'm put I, I getting this code like that and then I have the file based storage uh, and the file based storage is actually where I'm going to store the files. Uh, this is the capability to store the files. Great. And then the code that I added, uh, it's uh, only this part over here uh, until this. So from line 106 to line 140. Uh, and it's very simple code. Uh, it's actually I'm getting the path which was there already. Uh, and then here, uh, I'm getting the path, and I'm actually putting the path inside the file path, which is an app state. So if I go to my app states, I have this file path, which is this one, uh, and then uh, this is just a string, uh, false, and it's just returning the file path. Great. And then if I go back, so make sure that you have that as well if you want to get the file path. Uh, and then uh, we are actually converting this into 
uh, bytes. So uh, I added also this code over here from line uh, 64 until 100. Uh, and then this code is actually converting, it's getting to uh, URA of the blob file. So it's getting the blob URA and then it's using HTTP get. So I added also the dependency of uh, HTTP, which is this package. And because it's already in Flutterflow by default, you don't need to add it as a dependency. And then uh, I'm actually getting the file, like I said, as blob. Uh, and then uh, I am uh, getting it as a response and I'm converting this response actually uh, to, the response actually will be, sorry, will be in bytes. So I'm actually returning the response will be in bytes. And why we need that? We need that in order to actually save uh, the file uh, to Firestore as bytes. So this is the one thing that we need. And the second thing that we need is actually the file itself and the path. And I'm using the today time because this will be every time it will be a different uh, time. And I'm using the year, the month, the day, the minutes, uh, and the seconds and the hour. Uh, and then I am um, the path. Uh, so this is the, the file uh, uh, file type of the recording. I like I said, I use Opus, but you can use any of your any of those other file types. You can use Wave. You can use Flock. You can use any of those uh, that you want. You can just uh, change this, uh, and then you can change it, and then it will be changed. Of course. You cannot use, you cannot actually change to MP3, for example. Don't expect to work with MP3 because this is not supported in the official package. So don't expect to just change it to MP3 and then it magically works. It will not happen. Okay, great. And then the path to uh, the, do, the, the folder, it's users and then the current user uh, UID. And this is actually coming uh, when we import uh, this uh, section of on line 12 of our uh, files. Uh, great, so like I said, I'm recording it over here, uh, but if you want to record it in some other folder, which is not user specific, uh, then you need to change the rules of Firebase. Great, and then we're combining to uh, talk, uh, the directory path and the file name. And then the final thing that we're doing is uploading it to Firebase. Uh, and the final, final thing is that we're actually getting the path uh, and storing it to, um, sorry, to uh, file uh, type path. Uh, so I don't think we need this code, to be honest. Uh, and then we should get actually the download uh, URA. Uh, and we can actually use that after that. If you want, if you want to have access to the file path, and to the download URA, uh, you can actually do that. Uh, and you should be able to create a document after that. So when uh, there is, when the, the button is pressed uh, and you should be able to create a document after that and save it to Firebase, for example, if you want to have access uh, to this file uh, after that. Uh, great. Um, before we go, before I let you go, uh, I just wanted to thank you for watching this video, of course. And if you want to get the code, just visit this website where I will, uh, I'm posting all my videos uh, and I'm posting also get the code or you can change the links uh, and to, to some other things uh, and then change the actual code uh, and then copy the code and then paste it. In your website. So in my uh, in this example of the video, you can change the app state if your if your app state it's uh, named something else. Uh, you can change it in the code and then just copy it. And you can also copy the uh, uh, widgets as well that I'm using. And there is a how to use this website as well. Uh, so yeah, thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Thank you. Bye bye. Take care.